and uh, they keep letting me have a show, so uh, that's just because I'm the only boss for this right now. So I, I'm here with another show, and uh, this time we have Travis on from the chat room. Well, welcome, Travis. Hey. Hey, waving everybody. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just start right in with the questions. Uh, we already got a little bit of this out of the way, but who the hell are you, and how did you get here? Well, I was told to fill out a form in the chat room, so I went ahead and filled that out. And uh, then you said, well, why don't you, you, know, you, you do the show? I was like, okay. And, yeah. Or did you want, like, how I got to... <laughs> I mean, I'm, you, you might be a little more specific. Now. No, as far as, um, as far as... I'm assuming you mean as far as how did I uh, show up... I, um, help me out here. <laughs> yeah, with the, at the diamond or at, in chat realm, that's uh, it's it's an open ended question anyway. You get to say whatever okay. you want, pretty much. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, no, I mean, uh, I guess uh, let's actually, I guess, talk about going back then. Um, I f first discovered, I guess, chat realm and uh, NSFW back uh, in the quid days, uh, episode twenty two, uh, take one, as it's called. Uh, it was the uh, it was uh, Brian and Justin were in a uh, someone's house, so it was like bad audio quality. They were using a webcam on a uh, microphone, oh, yeah. uh, webcam microphone, all this kind of crap. Um, so I guess uh, some other show on Twitter finished, and I stuck around for you know what's this thing? What are they doing? And uh, so I watched it. And I was like, wow, this is this is a terrible show. What is this crap? <laughs> terrible <laughs> show. And uh, I. I uh, uh, the chat room, the chat room at the time definitely told me stick around. It, this this was a bad take. This was just a bad example. You should please come watch it. You know when they do an, an actual show, it's like all right. Well, I'll come back for the next show. And, uh, so, and at that point, pretty much, you know, it was my type of humor, just stupid, ridiculous, doesn't make sense. And uh, I've pretty much been a fan since. Awesome. No, it's a <clears throat> it's a great show, dude. And Nat Attack is uh, NSFW, whatever you know. Previous incarnations of it are just it's fun on a stick, man. <laughs> <laughs> Or as they would say, fun on my dick. <laughs> Everything. It, 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 honestly, let's 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 talk about that for a second. Actually, seriously, this is, this is the one thing I love about uh, the Diamond Club and Chat Realm is that they we will run something into the ground, <laughs> and in two weeks we're done. We're bored with it. Move on to something else. Right. I, I think we're pretty much at that at that point with my dick. Yeah, we're we're, we're getting close. We'll see here, though. It seems to be a, a bottomless fountain. But uh, well, I mean, what will what happens? We'll forget about it for a while, and then we'll remember about it, and then we'll think it's funny again for two weeks, and then move on. Oh, exactly. It's 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 Brody all over again. <laughs> All right, so we got move on to the next question yeah. here. You're <laughs> stranded on a desert island. You only get three movies. Your your movie player magically runs on sunshine. Uh, what movies do you get mm -hmm. to keep? Okay, Blazing Saddles. Okay, go with you there. Um, all right. Uh, let me see here. Does does a short six episode miniseries count as a movie because that if it does then i would take with me uh fully coolie do, does it fit on a like a normal dvd yeah okay well i'll let you have that then all right <laughs> um third one would be oh geez what was oh, the wait, third well, one be? sorry what was the second one again uh fully coolie hmm so it's, it's an anime uh, anime released back god Jeez, I don't remember anymore. <laughs> it's been so long. Um, but it's just a, it's a, it's a, I guess you kind of say of a, a life story about growing up and things like that. So okay. So, I don't know. I just it kind of, it kind of stuck with me for a bit. Um, but the last one I would take with me is, jeez, oh, three? Really? Man, I'm not good at three. <laughs> um, it's a good number. You get three. Yeah, no, I mean, I wouldn't know what to take for a third one. I'd be happy with just two. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have a little oh, variety. Uh, Groundhog Day. Uh, if, right. I'm be, if I'm gonna be living the same lot day over and over and over, again, I might as well watch a movie about living the same day over and over again. Exactly. All right, that's all right. That's that's a good three movies. I, I can deal with that. Um, all, all right, right. So here's a, here's an even better one. You're given a superpower. What's first? What what's the superpower? And what's the first thing you do? <laughs> um, all right, because I am so um, concerned about what other people think about me, obviously I want to read other people's thoughts. Okay, it's always because a good one. I... I'm sorry? I said that's always a good one. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, just because I'm, I, I don't know. I just, um, I first of all, one, it's, it's tough for me to even be able to do this because I am socially awkward. I am socially, I, I am so not a uh, outgoing person, <laughs> and to try to interact with other people, I'm always, I'm, I'm always concerned about what other people are thinking about me because I'm just, I'm just not comfortable around other people all the time. So it's right. It, it, it would be good to know ahead of time. That way, I don't have to worry about. Okay, should I approach this person? Should I not approach this person? <laughs> it, it it would make it make my life a hell of a lot easier. Oh yeah, I mean, well to be honest, make all of our lives easier. <laughs> so what's what's the first thing you would do with it though? Um, probably get into the mind of the people at the library I'm at who don't understand a quiet zone means keep <laughs> quiet. <laughs> Try just just try to understand why they're idiots. <laughs> exactly. It's like, why are you eating and smacking your lips so loud inside a library? I can hear you. I'm two seats over. Just stop it, you idiot. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. I I know. I, I choose the most mundane things, but I mean, I don't have that much of an interesting life to begin with, so I only have to go off of my trips to the library and dealing with people there. Right. <laughs> Uh, so, what is your current game of choice? What do you What are you wasting your time with these days? Oh, okay. Uh, well, that's easy. I picked up for my brother uh, Legend of Zelda. Uh, what's it called a uh, Link Between Worlds. Oh. And uh, uh, on the uh, 3DS, and of course, since it's a classic Zelda game, uh, good old fashioned, uh, you know, top down view. I've been hooked on this game. I've put in quite a few hours into it, mainly. Uh, just trying to grab as many uh, rupees as possible so I can buy stuff that I'm not supposed to too early in the game. Yeah, right. Oh, that's awesome. I'm, uh, I'm, was a giant Zelda fan? I did enjoy the game. It's just, you know, it's a good game, but <laughs> uh, I don't get a lot of time to play games anymore, so. Right, oh, well, so... that's, uh, well, I mean, I, well, I have to ask then. I mean, what's on your end? I mean, oh, I, know, I know this is just as your interview show. You're supposed to be asking me questions, but I have to ask. Oh, okay. Well, um, lately it's been a lot of Diablo three. Uh, it's an easy game to pick up. You know, go play a riff for an hour and and, and then be done. You know, so um, it kind of fits into the schedule a lot. Plus, my wife likes to play it, so it, that's always nice too when we get to play the same game. Oh, that's a bonus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. As your final general question, if you could move to any planet, you know, science fiction, whatever. Uh, real if uh, i don't know we don't know a whole lot about them really <laughs> um but which would it be and uh describe what your house would be like there hmm well the problem is most of the planets outside of uh mars are just giant gas beasts right so i mean you really can't build a house well and that's why that's why i say fantasy counts you know you can you can do this oh, from okay, okay, science fiction right, fantasy enough. stuff yeah that way you actually know what I it's would... like <laughs> I would go with Pluto for two reasons. One, yes, I know it's not considered a planet anymore. So I say, screw you, it's a planet to me still. So it's, it's a dwarf <laughs> planet. All right, we'll go with that. <laughs> two, it's cold. I hate the heat. And the it's heat does not like to play with me. So screw that. <laughs> I'm going to cold as cold can be. Yeah, that's, that's about as cold as it would get. So what, would you have like an igloo or something there? Or ice fortress? Hell no, man. I, I, would, I would build me... This this is what makes it so opposite. Um, I would build me a uh, like a, a, a city center downtown loft that has the high ceilings, the 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 uh, air conditioning vents that are cut, uh, out for everybody, the brick walls. It makes no sense to put it there. I mean, it's like I would have my own little like Apple Store or studio or whatever right. that I would live in, but it's freaking you know icicles and 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 uh, giant glaciers outside. Makes no sense, but makes me happy. <laughs> no, that that works. All right, to get into some more guest specific stuff, uh, I know you're you're a Texan, so um, and I know you could probably talk on this for a while, but Houston or Austin? You got to pick one. Austin, screw Houston. <laughs> <laughs> what I've been telling people, I was uh, I actually uh, spent uh, three months in uh, Canada in late 2000, uh, 2013. Uh, come back to Austin. I stayed there for a little bit, and. Uh, came back to Houston, and I'm like, this city is ass backwards. You can't travel anywhere except in a car. You can't take a bus anywhere because the buses go nowhere. Uh, the city is hot as hell. There's no sidewalks to walk anywhere. I want to be able to get out and move from point A to point B however the hell I want, and this city screw that crap. 
Yeah, you need the you need the cord killers of transportation. Exactly. So I'm gonna <laughs> get go wherever mine. you I'm, want, I'm, whenever I'm, you I'm, want, I'm, any damn way you please. <laughs> and uh, the problem right now is I'm splitting my time between Houston and Austin uh, as I continue to look for work up there, and it's just every time I come back to Houston, uh, about halfway between Austin and Houston, it's like this idiot zone is uh, like this barrier of idiots where on one side everyone is a little bit smarter and then on this other side you got uh, what kind of words can I say that is, is this is this open-ended or am I going to get bleeped <laughs> uh, no no I don't have a bleeping button so go ahead go right ahead <laughs> all right well, as soon as you hit this kind of barrier and if you're uh, if you're in uh, Texas you'll know in the city of Hempstead um, which is uh, kind of halfway between Austin and uh, Houston uh, anywhere or east or uh, west of that, people drive sensibly. You, as soon as you hit that barrier in Hempstead, assholes galore. I forgot <laughs> to censor myself. Sorry, but <laughs> assholes galore. Um, from that point all the way in the town. I mean, the most selfish, idiotic. I, I get a little worked up on this subject. <laughs> Let's just say this: driving this town sucks. Driving into this town sucks. Trying to get around this town sucks. <laughs> sounds sounds like it. <laughs> Well, living down there, though, you had a chance to go to South by South Wasted, or South by Southwest, but <laughs> we call it South yeah. by South Wasted, uh, both right. this year and last year. So, um, you know, what was your favorite moment? You only get to pick one moment from the two years. So, well, what was your favorite favorite little moment from that? Uh, obviously, it would have to be 2014, the most recent one. Uh, for those that don't know, uh, I actually wrote a couple of blog posts on uh, my website and uh, about my experiences uh, in 2013. I went to the event, didn't say anything to anybody. I was just kind of there in the background. Uh, so in 2014, I told myself I need to at least say hi to oh, no. somebody. I need to be oh, able to go up there and introduce myself. And as I mentioned, I'm, I, I'm not very socially adapted to doing things like this. <laughs> um, so uh, what happened was is I went to the event. It was a great event, by the way. And uh, I guess – I. Uh, Long story short, I guess the best moment was the fact just being able to be around all those people, saying hi, introducing myself, having them introduce me to sorry, hit my camera there, <laughs> having uh, them introduce me to uh, everyone else that was there between uh, uh, Brian, Justin, Tom, Veronica, and of course all the many different chat rooms uh, like Roberto, uh, Jack Hearn, and uh, I mean I could go on uh, Shane. There's just so many different names I could go through, um, and just being able to say hi to everybody that really kind of broke the ice for me to be able to go out and say hi to people. No, uh, awesome. I'm still working on it. I mean, uh, they, I've been in Austin. Of course, Brian does a scam school from Austin, and I've been able to go to a couple of tapings there. And I'm still trying to work on that, being able to just have a conversation part. Um, but it's still nice to be able to just kind of be around uh, other members of a like uh, subject oh, and sure. just interact. No, that's awesome. I mean, you're, it's, you're doing a good job here, so... Keep it up. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm not sure if the camera's big enough, but I'm sweating <laughs> left and right here. Uh, it's all right. It, you're, it's hot down there in Texas. Just blame it on the heat. <laughs> yeah, the heat. Right. That's what it right. is. <laughs> all right. So as your, as your final guest-specific question, I know you're a real big fan of Night Attack, uh, as, as I am too, you know. Who's your favorite right. guest to have on Night Attack? Either one time you know, one... or repeat or whatever. <laughs> If only because you know this is this is actually a tough one because I, the way that Night Attack is structured now it wouldn't be an issue, but one of my favorite guests on the show back on the uh, Twit days um, is that a taboo word now still or <laughs> no this it? this isn't the drama room so you're all right no right. <laughs> okay um, was of course Tijuana Jackson oh okay. there was no filter zero. <laughs> Um, you would actually work and, pretty good now on Night Attack. Yeah, that, that's the thing. I want, that's what I'm kind of worried about is, like, would it still work? And I'm sure it kind of would work, but to have <laughs> to have an editor have to sit there and bleep pretty much almost every other second. Right, which, I mean, and, now, who cares? <laughs> so. Yeah, exactly. Now, I mean, it's like you can just go off and do whatever he wants. Um, but uh, I remember a tweet that uh, Jammer B had sent out. Um and it was just his notes of every single cuss word that was just said throughout the show in the time code. It was just ridiculous. And if I remember right, 
um, I can't remember if it was that episode or another episode where they, they, they did take the time to kind of start bleeping the words and about like maybe like quarter way through or halfway through, he just <laughs> gave up. They said, screw it. Okay. <laughs> you can't take care of that. Oh, that's yeah. hilarious. No, he, he, but yeah, I mean, it, it'd be great to have him back on the show. Yeah, he, he definitely would be. Uh, do you have anything uh, anything you want to pimp out? Uh, website, uh, you know, uh, I'm, stamp really, collection? I, I don't have anything special. I mean, I'm just, just some guy that enjoys uh, watching uh, uh, the Night Attack and, all the, and DTNS and all the other shows. Uh, all right. Uh, looking for a job, right? You're looking for a job in, in Austin? On Diamond Club. But, looking for a job on Diamond Club? Yeah, all right. I, that's, that's pretty much all I can say. Uh, I mean, if I have... <laughs> I was gonna say if I if I could advertise anything, I guess it'd be my resume. Uh, it's internalserver.net. And <laughs> there that's you go. My project's website, but it's also got my resume on there. So there's that. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Um, well, I guess I just have one more question for you. Mm -hmm. Aren't you a little short for a stormtrooper? Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Um. All right. <laughs> So I'm going to take out my uh, geek card here because I'm not about to lose it. Actually, that's my uh, medical card, but close enough. <laughs> uh, I haven't really watched Star Wars. Oh, yeah, you're fired. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely fired. <laughs> and this, this gets people all the time. It's like, wait, you don't watch Star Wars? You don't watch Star Trek? You don't watch any of these sci-fi things? like, no, no, I, 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 I am a person who wants to laugh. I'm not into the fantasy kind of things, and I. I so uh, I'm just gonna hand this over here. <laughs> Sorry. No, that's totally okay. Sorry, sorry to disappoint world. <laughs> well, anyway, yeah. Thanks for joining me. On even though your connection's a little iffy, it's been it's been great though. Yeah, I'm sorry. Unfortunately, I'm on Wi-Fi only, so you you work with what you got. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, but yeah, like I said, thanks for joining us, and uh, we'll we'll take the elevator back out here, and uh, we'll see you on the next episode of Diamond Dialogue.